Hello, 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 YouTube Falk2762 here, and welcome to a video about my updates on a string launcher. Yes, I plan to build my own custom string launcher. It won't be built on screen because I'm having difficulties doing something, and I even needed my dad to help me with it. And if you are wondering what I need help, what I actually need help with is removing this prong because the screw was being a bitch. And actually, closely, if you can actually see. We actually broke the screw. Yes, it's no more crosshead anymore. Yeah, no matter how many times you try, we broke it. So, um, now there's no end. Uh, I'm not saying that there's an end to this, that I cannot actually and physically uh, remove the prongs to this El Drago left spin launcher. Because uh, I really decided to make this into a custom string launcher. And the way, uh, to where I actually get this, this string from is from this little thing. I actually have no idea what this is. But this is going to be my own custom string launcher. I'm going to take the technology out of this and insert it into this. And why am I? Why? Why is my hands being very clumsy today? But anyway, guys. Um. Uh, I plan to make a right spin launcher. I can't do LR because I don't have another one of these. Um. So I actually took the prongs out of my silver. Uh, out of my silver tornado Pegasus launcher. Yeah, with the storm Pegasus decal. Um, as you can see, if you're curious what's inside, uh, this is your right spin prong to it. Yep. They have many ridges, and I'll tell you what th that is about if you're curious and you're wondering why. You have this little uh, wheel thing that goes along with your rip cord. You know, whenever you insert it, it rotates. Yeah. But when you take it out... Sorry, guys. Is it good enough for you? Okay, good. Um... When you take it out, this little thing has uh, the little square, which holds this piece. If you're wondering what this piece does, you have these little ridges inside. If it's like, uh, like in this, oh, sorry. If it's like in this kind of form, that's why you see the prongs are a little bit loose. But if you twist it, and that's what the little ridges are for, if you actually say it like this, then it's a little bit locklier. It's like like tight. It's no more loose anymore. So that's the purpose of this thing. I don't know what it what it's called. Um, then you finally have the screw. So I purposely took this prong away from. Go away! Go away! I purposely took this prong away from my Tornado Pegasus launcher. Sorry, that was my mom interrupting. Um, this is like the emptiness. Of what's inside, yeah, cheap plastic, I know. But anyway, guys, um, so I plan to take the string, string technology from here. Um, if you're wondering, if you're curious, and what's inside it, I can show it to you. This is what's inside it, and this is what holds and retracts. Holds and retracts. Uh, Takar told me in, when to make their string launchers to actually use this technology. I'm not sure about Hasbro because I'm pretty sure Hasbro doesn't use this kind of technology. But this is what makes the string retract back and forth. So what I plan to do is remove this, cut this part off from here, open this up, remove these kind of things, whatever these are, I plan to uh, replace this prong with this because I want it to be a right spin. And also add this for the, you know, whenever you, uh, um, you know, whenever you rotate with your bay blade attached to the prongs. I plan to remove this, but I can't, I can't seem to do it. And I, I'm 100% sure that this fits neatly inside my thing. So now, when I take my grip launcher, um, the thing is, when I, when I, when I insert this inside here, uh, I'm not going to drill a hole in here so that, like you know, like average string uh, string launchers look like when you pull it from the front of the launcher like this. I'm going to use either of these holes to make to have it as a string launcher. So, for example, if my um, for for example, if I'm launching it like this, I can launch it from a standard ripcord fashion like that. Or if oh sorry guys, if it's uh launch like this, then I have to do it reversed, which is from this hole, yeah, like that, 
uh, not like this because I found it like very uncomfortable, but like like this kind of launching position. But anyway, guys, you and get the jiffy, get understand the idea. So those are my plans of building my own custom string launcher because I still can't find a real string launcher yet. Uh, but anyway, guys, I think that that's about it. Please like, comment, and subscribe. I'll subscribe back to you. Don't forget to put the sound angle shot on my captions. So you see button down there. Um, I think I'll see you next time, guys, in my baby videos. Unless I get this done, and I'll show it to you finally if it's successful. Bye, guys. Falcon276 out.